Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share my experience regarding to resolve the problem related to event ID 1202. It's related to security policies. So if you see this error, probably you will Google the error and you will come up with this first link, which is from the Microsoft. If you click on it, it has some error codes. It's coming with different error codes. So as you see here, I got access denied. So in this video, I'm going to explain just about the access denied experience, but probably for others error codes, you should follow and it should be almost same. So I'm going down and start with that. Because this solution is a little bit confusing and probably you might face a problem. So if you go down the error code access error code file access denied. So the first thing you need to do for this troubleshoot, you need to enable the log level on your system. So you need to run your registry as administrator and go to this path and if you couldn't find the extension debug level switch key, you need to create this key and set the value to 2. So here, I already open it. So this is the same path. And that's the key, extension debug level. If you don't find, you can just right click and 32-bit value, you can create it. So call it this level, double click on it, and you can change it to two, and then hit okay. So by that steps, the debug level will be enabled. So I already did the steps. I don't want to do it at the moment, but that's the first step you need to do. Then in second step, it mentioned that to run this command. So if you just follow this instruction, probably you would get errors. Let me show you. So here is the same error, same command in the Microsoft. And I just run it, I got this error. Instead of this error, you can just type gp update forward slash force. So this one will force the policies. So you can use this switch in a step. After that, there is a logs will be created in this directory. If I go here and open my directory, that's the vin logon file will be created. So there is a switch key to find something inside this file. So I will copy it and show you the result. So if you copy it and run it, something like this, I get this logs. Error opening remote registry. So it means that, let me explain why this error is coming up. This error is because of the something on the system try to access one of the services. And this remote registry is name of the service on list of your service on your server. So something is trying to access this remote registry. So this is the clue for the next step. Okay, now if you follow that, for example, and copy and paste this one, it doesn't return you something you are looking for. So one more time, let me copy it and show you what I mean. So I just copied this one based on the solution provided here, but nothing came up. Also, it has a sample, but following the sample give you better options. So you can copy the sample, open a note, 
Here in this sample, the problem related to the DNS service. So you can rename this one to remote registry and copy and paste it to command prompt. So I already did it. So when I copy and paste, I got this result. So it means something is happening on one of the group policy objects. In this case, uh, in my problem, as you can see, if I go to this directory, WinDIR template policies, I just copy. If you just press enter, it will be copied. So I will go here and paste it in my browser and go here. So as you can see, there are some registry policy are here. So based on this export, the registry number two. So when I click on the file and open it, which I already did, you will come up with something like this. So what does it mean? This one is a ID from one of the group policies. How to find it? So for next step, you can just select, copy, and go to your uh, group policy and just click here on the domain, go to search, on the search, change this one to GUI ID and paste the full path, include the brackets. So it should be include the brackets. Add and then search. If I double click on it, it will jump into the group policy. So if I follow this one, let me open the text message. So this one is exactly the same. So this is the group policy for my case is for example, for set the RPC and remote registry. So that's the problematic group policy which apply to my server. After I modify this policy and remove it from apply to my server, this event log didn't show up again. So it's just around one week is passed from the date I resolved the problem. And if I go filter and just name of the event ID and click OK. So from December 28th of the 2023, it's not popping up here. Today is January 4th of the 2024. So I hope you learned something from my experience and it can help you to troubleshoot your problems. If you learn something from my channel, please subscribe for more tips. Thank you. Thank you.